So I essentially just woke up, just got out of the shower, and I wanted to point out a couple things here about my uh, about myself. Now, one of the trolls in the Adonis Paul live stream last night wanted to point out that I can't take my government money with me to Argentina. Not true. Not true. I already checked this out with Social Security. You see, I'm on what's called Social Security Disability because I worked, okay? It's based on my earnings from when I worked. And yes, I can take that pretty much to any country, uh, except some of the, East, the former Eastern Bloc countries, North Korea, Cuba, and other countries nobody would really want to go. Okay, so these are some countries that, you know, I can't get it in. And that's not even true, because from what, I've, what I found out about uh, from Social Security, it, it's, it's not that I can't get it there. It's that the banks can't be trusted. So there are ways to get me the money in these countries, although aside from the former Eastern Bloc countries like, you know, like Poland or Ukraine or Russia or the Czech Republic or Romania or something, I, I wouldn't move to, say, Cuba anytime soon. And I certainly wouldn't go anywhere near North Korea anytime soon. I've met people from North Korea in uh in uh, karate, okay, uh, some of the people I've met have been North Korean defectors, okay, uh, at karate tournaments and stuff. They're not big fans of North Korea, although I will say, I, I will say this about Yun Mi Park. Her experience does seem to be a little different than some people I've spoken to, just saying. I, I'm just putting that out there. Not, not, going to elaborate. I'm just saying that. But the point that I'm making is, yes, I can get my social security disability in pretty much any country, especially Argentina. What I cannot get is I will not obviously get Section 8 housing, and I obviously would not get, um, I wouldn't get uh, food stamps. Okay, but I probably wouldn't need those due to the difference in prices. See, I'm multi, I'm, I'm like a multi-millionaire in Argentina. Okay, due to the, due to the, what's called the exchange rate. These concepts are too much for some of you to understand. I get that, but it is true. There's an exchange rate. Now, way back when, back when I was actually friends with Eliana before she betrayed me to a bunch of fat morons. Uh, we used to joke, Eliana always wanted to be famous, okay? That was her big goal in life for whatever reason. She wanted to be some kind of pussycat doll or Britney Spears or something like that. I guess all little girls have these dreams. I don't know why. I don't, I never wanted to be famous. Although somehow I've become YouTube famous. Uh, I don't, and this is why I didn't want to become famous. This is what fame does to you. But what's funny is we always used to joke, her and I, uh, that I was her number one fan because I was I was her only fan and not only fans. She doesn't have one of those, although if she did, I'd definitely pay. Um, <laughs> but the thing is, I was her number one fan. Uh, I still am. I always will be. OK, that's just the truth. Eliana, I'm always your number one fan. I'm always your buddy. I'm always here for you. Regardless of what stupid crap you do, I'll always be your buddy. Okay, I think you know that. But the thing is, what people don't understand is, uh, yeah, you know, whatever. Unfortunately, I'm famous. Now, Eliana, if you want to be famous, I found a remedy to make you famous. Marry me. I'm a god to these dickless wonders. Don't ask me how, but I'm some kind of, like, god to these idiots. Uh, I, I'm a job creator, I can tell you that. They have a whole James clothing line. I've been making people thousands and thousands of dollars from the beginning of this, you know. I, I'm a job creator, you know, and like most job creators, I live on welfare. That's what I do. If you look at General Motors and these big banks and all this stuff, I am a job creator and a god to these people. So you have the chance to be the consort of the greatest god of the ROTC family. You want to do that, baby? But honestly, what, what my point is with the whole social security thing, any woman that chooses to be with me has me all to themselves. 24 hours a day, seven days a week. If I impregnate her and have children with her, I can dedicate myself 
100% to the most important job, which people don't understand. Back in agricultural times, both parents actually spent time raising children. This is the core of Western civilization. This is unfortunately what Eliana gave up, because uh, I have quite a bit of money in Argentina, and even if I marry Eliana, which I won't, because she doesn't want anything to do with me, apparently, but even if she was an extremely wealthy young lady, I would, of course, sign a prenuptial agreement so I can't touch her money, but beyond that, it doesn't affect my money. It wouldn't affect my money because my money is based on my earnings. Social security disability is not social security supplemental income. There's a big difference between the two. I know people's minds don't work properly because they're stupid. So I'm trying to let people understand this. So yes, if I moved to Argentina, if I married Eliana, even if I became an Argentine citizen, I would get my social security disability. I think the only thing that would disqualify me from it is if I joined the Argentine military, because I believe that would be considered an act of treachery against the United States, as it should be, um, and also would prove I'm not very disabled if I was in the Argentine military. And then people go, you're not disabled, you make YouTube videos. I can only, I have what's called post-traumatic stress disorder. And I also have other things that are not, what's called not otherwise specified, okay? People see me lose it here and there, okay? There's only so much bullshit I can take, up, I can take before I have an outburst, okay? And people are like, oh, that's your, da, da. you know, these are actual neurological issues. I don't know what's causing them. Nobody knows what's causing them, okay? But I do know medication doesn't work. And I do know the best thing that I can do is simply, you know, do what I'm doing, okay? It's uh, unfortunate that the ROTC family of programs took it upon themselves to harass me. But the truth is, yes, I meet the criteria to be a disabled person in the United States of America. What's funny is, as a disabled person in the United States of America, I'm creating more jobs than most of these people are. Why? Because for whatever reason you people find me entertaining, I don't know why. I make great videos on nutrition. I make great videos on things like anthropology. I make great videos on topics that actually matter, but no, what do you find interesting? Me freaking out. Whatever. Whatever floats your boat. That this has been my this has been my primary problem with the internet from the beginning. People should be using the internet for, uh, you know, for searches, uh, you know, searching medical libraries, searching government libraries, searching things where they can learn the things that they need to survive. The Department of Homeland Security provides you everything you need to know to survive a disaster. How many people know that? Not many. Not many, because they're too busy watching ROTC. Okay? Not many people know that PubMed offers billions of freaking scientific research articles on everything you could possibly think of, including agricultural research. People don't know the USDA uh, provides these services. I only really speak English, but luckily you can translate things now. There's programs to translate things into English, but many, many uh, from my friends from other countries, you know, the People's Republic of China, South Korea, um, uh, Brazil, uh, Mexico, all these countries, their governments have scientific websites that are, you know, part of the government or not, maybe not even part of the government, maybe parts of universities and things like that. You can find out anything you want. You have it all at your fingertips. And what do people choose to watch? Some guy like me freaking out on the internet, more so than learning what they need to learn. Now, I'm not going to downplay the importance of pornography. You know, I've made a video called In Defense of Pornography. Not going to downplay the importance of pornography. I don't judge people. You like your porn, you like your porn. Whatever. I'm not judging people for the porno thing. Not, not me. But the point that I'm making is there are important things you can use the internet for. Important things that people choose not to use the internet for. Now... That's about all for this video. I mean, the fact of the matter is, is even if I married Eliana, and even if, and in fact, if I had children with Eliana, they would be eligible for money from the government. That's how that works. Yeah.
Kind of crazy, huh? Well, you know what? Why am I the way I am? I'm a eugenist. And you know what? Uh, if you look at what's, what's pushing dysgenics, why not use what's pushing dysgenics to push eugenics? That's all I'm saying. Eliana, you know, you gave up your number one fan. You gave up your primary worshiper. You could have me as a consort.